Hello there. It's Saturday afternoon, just coming past midday. I've come out for a camp. Because I'm nice and early, I've got extra food and water and that. So my pack is a bit heavy. I've also got three tarps with me. I was hoping to do a little demonstration of the various setups I use because it was mentioned in the comments so I thought I can oblige different setups and why I use them I was going to have a hill camp this week but uh, we forecast like 50 mile an hour winds so the cheviots are just too windy so I'm going to find somewhere really quiet in the forest it's a fair walk a couple of hours but uh, I'll have a lovely peaceful time because I'm in no rush well, I'm worn out now picking my way through this lot I mean look at it it's good fun it's just very very hard work plus I'm going uphill as well I'm not too far away. I've done four miles, so I'm getting close. I'm crisscrossing all these like drainage channels at the minute. It's certainly an interesting walk in. <coughs> it's massive, the forest, isn't it? It's beautiful. Right, made it. It's surprising. Oh, the wind is terrible. Look at that for an oasis. Fabulous. Love it. Love it. Just over four miles. Oh, and how long has it took me? Let's have a look. It's took me one and three quarter hours, just taking me time. A long walk. But obviously I'll get this place to myself. So it's nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look. Wow. Nice familiar little flat spot there. Last time I come here I was just eaten alive by the midges. So this is probably the last time I come here this year. Because once the midges come out, it's no good. Beautiful, isn't it? It's not views as such, it's not like a hill, but there's something about this spot. I mean, you've got a few little brows, but there's just something about just sitting here by the water, listening to the wind. It's just lovely. Right, I'm going to show a few tarp setups today, what I use. It's not the best weather, obviously, because it's blowing a gale, but. Uh, I'll do the best I can, just ignore the flapping. So this setup we're looking at now, there's my mat. This is the one I use if it's high wind and there's only a little bit of rain forecast. It's just the DD Magic Carpet, 140 by 140. I use a couple of walking poles, four guy lines, just to support it. Just loops on the end. And basically that gives just enough head cover so if you're in your bivvy and it rains in the night your head is protected so you, you know you're not getting no water in your sleeping bag or your bivvy. Well obviously it's, it's the perfect light setup, lightweight sleeping bag and the little magic carpet that's all you need. The one drawback to it there's no way to get changed if it's raining you're going to get wet there's no way around that so then for when it was wet, I moved on to the Superlight Tarp S, which is 2.8 by 1.5, and I use it the same way, but we'll see the differences now. Right, the setup we've got now is the DD Superlight Tarp S, 2.8 by 1.5, so it's basically the same as we had before. I put an extra guy on the back because of the wind. So you've got room to lie down like that, 
you've got the same two guy lines either side on your pole then you can have two or three guy lines on this side to hold it tight now you can get a stick and bring this end up if you wanted to to make more room but that's perfect because it sheds the rain if it's going to rain a lot this setup sheds the rain and you've actually got you know you've got a full length under there in which you can get changed so you can have a nice dry night and you can get changed in the morning now another way of using this one you can fold this part over from there over that way so it's the same setup as before and then if it rains you can just bring the flap over and get changed that's another way of using this setup but obviously then you've got two pieces at this end a tendency to flap a bit but uh, that's probably my favorite setup if I'm not using the little magic carpet obviously it's blowing early at the minute so it's very hard to demonstrate a nice t tight setup and I'll show you another way of using this tarp now so again we're using the super light tarp s 2.8 by 1.5 and this time I'm using you can use a ridge line on this one if you want to you could have a ridge line across here to keep it tight which I would do if it was windy but this is just a demonstration so you can see you've got a full room inside and you've got shelter from both ends from the weather it's just a case of pegging it out differently look I've got the corner I've got the corners folded underneath out the way and I've got a guy line on the back there to keep it tight you could put guy lines all over the place you could keep it tight <coughs> so obviously with a, with a ridge line you would have the top nice and taut this is just a demonstration to give you an idea but that's actually a, a very 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 good uh, setup you, like now if I was to use that I've got all the views of the lake and yes, I'm still fully protected obviously you're in your bivvy as well bone dry today the weather forecast and it's just started to rain there you go so that's actually a nice setup. I might use that one today. I've got the 2b2 tarp left, and that's just a case of using it as a bigger, bigger version of the magic carpet. Well, that's basically the, the setups I use. That's a smashing one, this one, especially when you use a ridge line, because you wouldn't have any of this wobbling about. I've got the 2b2 tarp there but I'm not going to put it up to do another demonstration because it's just a bigger version of the magic carpet it's too windy to be, to be fiddling on but anyway what I'm using today is the super light tarp I've got it pegged out this side because this is the side the wind's coming from I'm using a walking pole to hold it up a, few, a couple of guy lines to keep it tight on the side I've got a ridge line going down to the tree and that's just got a bow that's just got a bowling knot and a peg push through it. A couple of guy lines at this end to keep it tight. And the ridge line at that end is a trucker's hitch. And then I've done a loop and put a peg through so it's quick release. And I'm using a couple of uh, Prussic knots and some toggles and inside there is the foam mat the army bivvy exped mat inside the bivvy and the rab 200 uh, the rab 400 pro neutrino pro sleeping bag with my pillow I'll wait until it's a little bit warmer before I try without the sleeping bag again but to save the weight I've just brought the uh, the lightweight sleeping bag tonight because it's uh, about eight degrees, so it's not that cold. Nice uh, setup. It's going to keep pretty tight in the wind. Obviously, it's moving about because it's blowing a gale. If I took the microphone out, you wouldn't hear a thing. The wind's barking mad. I just don't know what it is. This last year and into this 2024, we're just 
We're just not having no days without any wind up here. Well, I've had my dinner. Just one of those plant-based chicken tikka masalas I've had today. Got my coffee bag on now. Clearing up. I'm just lying in the, on top of the bivy, relaxing. Look at that for a view. I mean, what more could you ask for? Just relaxing, chilling out, looking at that. It's magic. I love a tarp. I mean, just look. I can see the stars when they come out. See the stars up there. I can see all around me. It's magic. I love it. I've got my sleeping bag there because the wind's coming from that... Uh, sorry, I've got my rucksack there because the wind's coming from that direction. It'll give me a bit of protection for my head. Just love it. Absolutely love it. What have you to wake up to? <coughs> Mind you, I wake up that early. I'm probably packed up by the time it's light. Well, I might have a more leisurely morning tomorrow because I'm much further from the car. Nearly ready. Got my slippers ready for later. All my stops behind me up here, look. That's the stool. It's a handy little stool, that. 300 odd grams. It's not too bad. There we go. Right, I'll have to go. Well, I think spring's finally coming. The, the, the lighter mm. nights. It's half past five and it's just just turning dark now so uh, the light nights are coming you can't really see anything now look i can still see the lock and that but uh it's the camera can't pick it up now well, i don't know what temperature it's meant to be but my feet were that cold, even with the slippers on, in the sleeping bag. I've had to put two hand warmers in my slippers. And I'm using my electric hand warmers. The ones that I kindly got uh, given to me by the Secret Centre. I've been using those for my hands. It's absolutely bitter cold. It's a biting, biting wind. It really is. It's nice just to lie here. Just I'm just chilling. I've got all the gear. I can keep more than warm enough. I've got a plentiful supply of hand warmers. Plus I've got the electric ones. So I'm uh, I'm just chilling. It's a hard night tonight lying here. There's no phone signal at all tonight. I'm just having a. I'm just having another brew. There's a surprise. The wind is horrendous. It really is. The torches. The, uh, the camera lights flickering there. I don't know what's happening to that. It's better. Well, I don't know what's happened to the temperature. It's meant to be at 8, 9, 10 degrees. I've just checked the local forecast for Elsdon. Three degrees. So I wonder if it's cold with the wind chill. But I've got I've got loads of gloves. I've got uh, plenty of gear. It's a good job I bought the lightweight sleeping bag. I'd have been I'd have been away. <laughs> Couldn't have done it. But uh, that that will be a method for the spring, certainly to save some weight on a maybe a, a long walk camp. I think next weekend if I'm out, I might may have to use the tent because I'm desperate to get up the gym. It's, I'm desperate for a hill camp. But uh, the high up wind camp in the winter with the cold wind, I'd have to use the little uh, magic carpet, the 140 by 140. And uh, it's just a bit cold. So I might have to use a tent. I just like listening to the weather. I like the views. I like everything about it. But uh, I'm just lying here now. I'm going to bed soon. Snuggled in. So I'll uh, 
I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It's quarter to seven. I've just woke up. I've quickly put the wind jacket on while I'm sat up in the in the sleeping bag. I'm just doing me uh, me porridge and a brew. It's quarter to seven. From about, I, s I only woke up once around midnight, and then after that, from about two o'clock, I've been awake every half an hour. Hour. It's been a really hard night. Very unusual for me. The wind so so noisy and when it catches the tarp it's like twanged the tarp really loud because I've got it well fixed the tarp wasn't going anywhere but uh, it, was, it was still catching the wind but the wind in the trees so noisy but I've had plenty of sleep it's just disturbed sleep so I'm going to uh, have my breakfast and that I'm hoping to catch a view before I set off because uh, it's a bit dark to get through those trees. Right, I'll catch you in a bed me brief. Well, I'm just sitting having a coffee, enjoying the view. It's lovely, isn't it? I saw a couple of deer over there before. Beautiful. Right, leave no trace as always. That's where I was. It's a nice little hollow, isn't it, that? Right, so I'm going to set off now when I go down through the trees. I put the more powerful headlight on because I think it's still pretty dark in the trees just to see where I'm going. So we'll catch you in a bit. I've come a different way back. It's straight down one of the old fire breaks. But uh, you've got to get past a fair few fallen trees. It's completely decimated up here, again. It's funny, when the main paths are blocked, like over there with the fallen trees, you can come just into the forest. And you've got a clear run right down. And you're out, out there on the main path, it's blocked. Well, that's me nearly back at the car now just at four and a bit miles had a nice camp very interesting it was hard work in the wind in the night mind but uh, I might get the tent out next week and go on the hills because I would like to go back to the hills so we'll see you on the next one and thanks for watching and if you like it please subscribe doesn't cost anything and it does the channel good. See you next time. Thank you.